Hey guys, if you've got a dash cam and you want to use a 64 gig or greater uh, micro SD card with it, what you may find, and this is what I found, is that it must be formatted in the FAT32 file system, not NTFS or XFAT. It won't, uh, it won't work unless you have it in FAT32. Now the problem is, Windows does not let you uh, format a disk of this size in the FAT32 file system. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So to start, go to run and start typing in disk management. Um, and what you'll see is an option that says create and format hard disk partitions. Go ahead and click that and it will open disk management and you can see that I've got my C drive here and at this point go ahead and plug in your micro SD card into your card reader and it will go ahead and populate. Uh, disk 1 here is that little disk that's brand new, that micro SD card I was holding up a second ago. This is it right here. It's formatted the entire thing in XFAT, which is not what we want. So to change it and reformat it, you would right click and hit format and you would choose your file system type. You would want to select FAT32, but as you can see, it doesn't let you do that. Windows, it just, Microsoft just doesn't have that option for whatever reason. So I did a bunch of digging around online. What you can do is if you close out of this, close out of that, you can open up, well, you can download and then open up this piece of software called um, EaseUS Partition Manager, and I think this is version 12 and a half, but this gives you that option. So here's that E drive other. You can right click on it and hit format partition there. You can label it. This will be the name of my um, uh, dash cam N2 Pro, which is pretty cool. Actually, I've got a video on that as well. Uh, you can choose your file system as FAT32 and a couple of others, but that lets you do it. You can set your cluster size if you want to, but I would just leave it. Hit OK, and it's telling you that it won't actually do it until um, you apply the changes. So go up in the top left, hit apply, go ahead, and there it goes. It's going to do it for you. That worked out great for me. It just took me a while to figure all this out. So if you have a similar situation, uh, you can go ahead and do it this way. It was easy. And... Uh, there it is. There it's done. It says it's uh, named N2 Pro. It's formatted in FAT32. And that's it. That's all there is to it. I hope that was helpful, and thanks for watching.